How's it going guys? This is Double Wide Six and this is a look at my pool. I've been taking care of my pool uh, on my own. So it's been a trouble free pool. And uh, I haven't been down at the pool store and I've been balancing it myself. I spent the four, first four years with my pool always running down to the pool store trying to figure out if I need pH up, pH down or shock it. And uh, this year I took control of my pool myself. So if you want to take care of your pool yourself, the first thing that you're going to need is a good test kit. This one here is a Taylor K-2006 Complete FAS DPD Chlorine Test Kit. Alright, this kit probably costs about 60 bucks. It'll last you at least a season and even more depending on... Um, how, how much you use it and also you can always buy the new reactants you don't have to buy a whole kit so if you run out of one reactant you can get it by mail so uh, those of you that use those test sticks that you dip in the water and they change color I used to use those I used those for four years straight they are the most difficult thing to use they're never accurate they get bleached out if you shock your water and uh, you never know what's going on um, it, it's just it's terrible trying to use them so you really got to get out and get yourself a good test kit so you can tell what the levels are your test kit is going to be more accurate than the computerized tests that they give you down at the pool store because this test is going to be dead on and you need a good kit that's why I recommend a Taylor kit All right, so the first thing that you want to do when you test your water is get a good sample. You're going to notice that I put my arm deep in the water and I'm going to stay away from my returns and I'm just going to take a, a nice sample of water. So what you want to do is you want to take your bottle and flip it upside down and form an airlock dip the bottle all the way down in the pool as deep as you can go and then let the bubbles out by tilting the bottle. That'll fill your bottle with water. Once it's filled you have a good sample. And you want to wait usually at least after the skimmer has been running for I'd say at least 45 minutes so that the water is all mixed up and you get a true sample. So to do our testing today, we're going to be using the Taylor K-2006 Complete FAS-DPD Chlorine Test Kit. The next test that we're going to run is an alkalinity test. It's important to go in the order of the tests in the kit so that you don't get any false readings. And I'm just rinsing out the comparator and to do the alkalinity test we're going to take some test water and we're going to fill it up to the 25 milliliter level on the side of the comparator so to do this test you want to take reactant number seven and you're going to add two drops one two and then you're going to take reactant number eight and you're going to add five drops. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to swirl it. Your sample should turn green. You're going to take reactant number nine and you're going to add this drop wise, one drop at a time until your sample turns from green to pink. Not green to clear, green to pink. I know that it takes about 10 drops. So I'm going to start by putting in 8 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 drops and I'm going to swirl it up. Apparently my alkalinity that turned clear so I'm not quite there. Let's add one more drop. It dropped a little bit on me. It was around, I guess it was around 90. And you can see it turned pink. It took nine drops. So you take nine times ten is an alkalinity of 90. 
and I know what to do because my test kit explains what to do up top. So my alkalinity is 90. I like to keep it somewhere between 80 and 100. So I'm double wide six and I have a whole bunch of uh, fix it and repair videos and pool testing videos. So please check it out and I appreciate you watching and feel free to post your questions. Have a great day.